Welcome back to the Tool Crib. Today we're going to be doing a little DIY project. We're going to be replacing a cartridge in my mowing faucet. Now this is pretty simple to do. To, to uh, take off the faucet handle, it's just a simple Allen head screw that you remove and then you're able to pull the handle itself off. That's going to expose those two front pieces. Those are actually the stop mechanism for your handle so that it won't rotate beyond full open or full closed. One simple screw that holds those in place and then you're able to pull those two components out and set them to the side. Now, I went a little further in this than I had to. You, it's not necessary to take off the back plate. It's kind of a force of habit. When I'm taking something apart, I kind of generally take it completely apart. But it was definitely not necessary to perform this repair job. Uh, it's just uh, something that I do by habit, I guess. So we're going to get this cover off and then we're going to pull the extension sleeve off the faucet itself as well. And that's going to expose the cartridge. Now at this point you want to make sure that your water valve is shut off and that you've relieved the pressure because if you try to take this clip off and pull that cartridge then it can come back and hit you and then obviously douse you with a bunch of water. I had to run down to Home Depot to get a replacement for my mowing here. I tried to see if I could rebuild this but it, it was just beyond repair so it was necessary to change it out completely. Now for this, I'm using a pair of Knipex plier wrenches. These are really great for this task because you're able to grip onto it much like you would with vice grips and not scar the brass connector there. Not that it would matter on the old one, but putting the new one in, uh, you, do, you don't want to scar that up. Now, Moen sends along in their replacement kit, they send along a lubricant that needs to be applied to the outside of the valve. It's going to seat against that rubber. You want to put that on pretty, pretty generally there, you know, really lubricate that up. And it's pretty straightforward going back together. They show you which side is top side. Just seat it in there and reset the clip. Now once the clip is in place, now you can turn your water back on without risk of that uh, cartridge flying out. Now here I'm just checking, double checking to make sure that the valve uh, will open and close correctly. The whole reason that I was replacing this cartridge is because we were able to turn the water on very easily but when we went to shut it off it was very stiff. It did not want to close. It did not want to rotate clockwise. So I like again I had tried to see if I could rebuild it or just clean it up but it was beyond repair and it definitely needed replacement. At this point I'm going to go back to the garage, turn the valve back on and turn the water on. Now, the reason I want the water on, first of all, is because I want to double check that the valve is working correctly. And then I also wanted to make sure that the valve was in its off position before I go back and start reinstalling the rest of the components, the handle and, and the, uh, the final components. Because I wanted to make sure that the handle was in the proper orientation so that uh, it was facing down in the closed position one of the biggest reasons why it's probably not necessary i'm sure i didn't look at it close enough but i bet there's a uh, an indicator as to which is which i just wanted to double check it so now it's ready to go back together and putting it back together is really simple process of of uh, the same way that we took it apart once i get the valve closed then i'm going to start with the cover and the adapter sleeve that uh, extension sleeve that goes over it and put those back in now for this I'm using a DeWalt 12 volt screwdriver. This is a really great tool for this project. I mean, you can do this with simple hand tools, but this DeWalt screwdriver, this little 12 volt, makes it really, really fast and easy. The reason I like this screwdriver is twofold. First of all, because it is a true screwdriver and not an impact driver. So when you're seating screws like this, uh, you don't run the risk of the impact function stripping out the screw heads. Also, you can set the torque very finely on these so that you're not stripping out the screw it's itself or the threads. And I actually debated a long time before buying this uh, little 12 volt uh, uh, driver. I just thought it was something I didn't need. But I will tell you that after I did buy it, I was very, very glad that I did because it's actually one of my most used cordless tools. Now. Now we can put the rest of the, the components back together. So we'll put the stops back in place. And again, they're just going to seat in there with a single screw. And once we have that seated, 
now we have the connection point to put our faucet back on or our faucet handle back on and everything will go together smoothly one of the things that i'm going to have to do and i just didn't realize how bad it was because frankly i'm gone a lot and this is part of my honeydew list when i got home but the hard water stains on these faucets are just awful just horrendous so at some point i'm going to have to take all these off and get some clr and just clean all these faucets up because this this is our guest bathroom and that is definitely not a site that i want in my guest bathroom at any rate this is a pretty simple diy project that anybody can do uh, it's really straightforward not much to it my name's ben and you've been watching the texas tool crib and this has just been a instructional video on how to replace a cartridge on a mowing faucet hope you've enjoyed i'll see you in the next one